Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'd like to show you how to draw something that was inspired by my yoga classes in this video. Every once in a while I go to a yoga class in the morning before I start my day. Every yoga class starts with breathing movements that help us get in touch with ourselves and get our bodies and minds ready for the practice. It's Vinyasa Yoga, which focuses on the combining breath with movement in a number of poses that flow together. So breathing routine that was set up at the start will help you remember it during the practice. One of my big goals when I started doing yoga was to get stronger and more flexible. When it comes to flexibility, I don't see any changes. Maybe yoga keeps me flexible in some way. Otherwise, it would have been worse because of getting less flexible with age and um, I know that it gets worse with age. In terms of strength, I feel stronger and more energized, which makes it all worth it. I don't always work on my flexibility when I lift weights at the gym. This could be because I'm not good at it. I might want to add um, flexibility exercises to all of my power training sessions instead of just uh, doing yoga. As with other things, being consistent would be important. Yoga comes at different uh, levels of uh, difficulty, so it can be very hard to do. I usually get to the gym uh, 30 minutes early for class and uh, run on a machine which makes me already tired. If I run hard, I might not have the energy to keep going with yoga, so I drag myself through it. So I stopped uh, working out before yoga class so I would have more energy and endurance uh, during the class. Not long ago I finished reading uh, James Nestor's book Breath. A lot of people are breathing uh, wrong which is pretty shocking. Mouth breathing is especially bad uh, for your health because it's not a good way to breathe. I've been a mouth breather since I was a child. When it was daytime, I could keep my cool and breathe uh, through my nose. But at night, things uh, were different. Every morning, I would uh, wake up with a sore throat and a dry mouth. Several procedures were done on my nose to fix polyps and the crooked septum of the nose. All of them required surgery. Dealing with my nasal problems all the time was exhausting and all of those events left me traumatized. As soon as I finished reading that book I began to do short periods of focused breathing all day, not just during yoga. I saw that this really helped me, especially when I was feeling stressed. It was easier for me to deal with things and my worry went down. I even tried to run while only breathing through my nose, which is really hard to do. Just to keep up with my breathing, I had to slow down. This drawing is to show the Ujjayi Pranayama breath, which is uh, taken through the nose. It makes a sound that sounds like ocean waves. Taking slow deep breaths can help calm your body and mind. At the yoga classes I go to, we do it a lot. I began this set of drawings just to help me remember some good habits that will help me stay on track. I think these pictures are like posters and sharing them on social media will help me remember them more deeply, so I won't forget about them. This picture also serves as a reminder to draw more often. Making this promise helps me keep drawing. I didn't use social media much and didn't post much in the past year. I was also in the artist block on YouTube and couldn't focus on posting more often. I was just postponing and didn't want to post anything. 
I used to worry about what other people would think of my work and then I became too focused on being perfect, which slowed down my progress a lot. But in the end I understood that the most important thing was to make art and share it with others, regardless of what other people thought. I learned to let go of my fear and judgment and focus on creating art that brought me joy. Now I would like to be more active on YouTube, posting regularly and sharing my work with the world. I'm trying to embrace imperfection and see it as a part of the artistic process. Creating art has become a source of happiness and fulfillment for me and I'm grateful for the growth and confidence it has brought into my life. I have found that the more I create and share my art, the more I am able to connect with others who appreciate and support my work. It has been a journey of self-discovery and self-expression and I am excited to see where it will take me in the future. Through my art I hope to inspire and uplift others just as it has done for me. I am eager to continue honing my skills and pushing myself to new creative heights. I hope this will inspire you to never give up on your own passions and dreams. Remember, the possibilities are endless when you believe in yourself. Keep creating, keep pushing yourself and never be afraid to share your unique perspective with the world. Your art has the power to touch hearts and change lives. So keep believing in yourself and your talents. Embrace the challenges and obstacles that come your way, for they are just opportunities for growth and learning. Stay true to your vision and never lose sight of the impact you can make through your art. The world is waiting for your creativity, so go out there and make your mark. I used a light box to transfer the pencil sketch from my drawing sketchbook to watercolor paper for this image. This is a rotring fine liner with waterproof ink that I'm using. This is great for adding watercolor later. I want the lines to be clean and clear. I also think it's fun to add words to my picture. It is somewhat like a cartoon and it gives a personal touch. Adding words to your picture can really enhance the storytelling aspect of your art. So don't be afraid to experiment with incorporating text into your illustrations. It's a great way to make your artwork even more unique and engaging with viewers. Whether you choose to include a short quote, a thought bubble or even just a few keywords, adding text to your artwork can help convey the message you want to communicate. Just make sure to consider the placement and size of the text so that it complements the overall composition of your piece. Remember, art is all about expression, so have fun and let your creativity shine through in every aspect of your work. Adding color is always fun, and watercolor is especially fun because it spreads around on paper in beautiful, surprising ways. For this drawing I'm using cellulose paper, which is less expensive, but works fine for this kind of, of flat illustration. I have uh, this old set of watercolors that I haven't used in years. The colors are still good, which is great. I had tubes of watercolor paint that went bad after being stored for a long time, because they were dry and couldn't be used. I had to throw them away. I find it very convenient to use such a small set, as it doesn't add friction to using them on a daily basis. For other larger sets I would use them less frequently because they are stored in a cabinet and I need to find them every day. This set can stay on my table and be easily accessible whenever I need it, making it much more convenient for daily use. The other larger sets would be inconvenient to use on a daily basis. It is important to keep all your materials at hand and in sight to remind you to use them more often. This will ultimately help you stay organized and on track with your goals. 
Remember, it's the little things that can make a big difference in your daily routine. By having this smaller set of supplies readily available, you'll have one less thing to worry about when tackling your tasks. And don't forget to declutter and organize your workspace regularly to ensure maximum productivity. Stay focused and keep pushing forward towards your goals. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, take care and keep up the great work. Bye.